me on February 21st. Um, I was awoken early by a prompt to start writing. And here's a message. Rejoice, my child, and warn my children. Call others to the front line. Tell them to bring to me the swaddling clothes of intercessory prayer. Exhort them to feed others with the milk of the gospel of my son. Rejoice and be warned, daughter, that cross drafts are blowing. A wind from the south comes to use my name for personal gain. Some will hear about revival and become inflamed with lust, though some will be deceived into believing that it's zeal for me, but it will be fleshly, sensual, and demonic. The other evil in the south wind is the indiscriminate intent to snuff my activities and quench my spirit. Pride and fear are rising quickly, and they are well recognized by haughty thoughts and eyes, froward lips and impulsivity, like the pouncing of a wolf or the lunge of a viper. A flurry of the flesh strangles spiritual discernment and obedience in testing the spirits. Guard yourself, daughter. Clothe yourself in the humility of my son. Hide yourself in submission to me and obey my precepts. Let them alone. Let them alone. Let them alone. Fresh water cannot come from a place where salt water is flowing. Practice restraint, daughter, when you see these evil things taking place. Guard against the flesh and trust the operation of my spirit in you as you obey me. I've put into many of my children the song of David, though many of these instruments have been forged and played through hardship and tension. It's music to my ears and deliverance for you, child, to praise me and not hide my goodness, though I have tested your faith by hiding many of my purposes from you. One day you will understand in full. The spirit of the Antichrist that has always been in the world hates a heart that is after mine. It hunts and stalks with mockery, intimidation, and condescension. But I will not be mocked. The Psalms are swords for my warriors. If you remain in me and I remain in you, my word will never fail you. For I am my word, and my holy ferocity fights for you with sure victory. Many are at risk of being swept away in what is circling in the waters of revival. The undercurrent pride where every foul creature lurks, waits to harpoon the life that I am indeed birthing in my body. Sometimes daughter. Witchcraft looks like legalism and tradition. The scales of pride and the leavening of the Pharisees rage against my spirit in my name. Whatever Satan has to do, once he identifies the lusts of the heart in a community, he will do in order to hijack people away from life in my spirit, which is peaceable and gentle and full of good fruits. Witchcraft in my house looks like the harnessing of power without devotion and reverence to me. Indeed, I am pouring out my spirit. Did I not say that if you call on me, I will answer you? Have I not shown you the power of my people worshiping in spirit and in truth to bring down strongholds and set captives free time and time again in my word? I answer the petitions of my people 
for I am faithful. Receive my presence with awe and reverence. I am your king. My spirit brings new life where there has been death. Have you ever been in a room with a newborn baby? Have you ever held one? Obviously, this is a rhetorical question, as I have children, um, but it's worth pondering the significance of, and definitely pray for understanding. But now, the cross draft comes, my daughter. I will do great and mighty things in my people who are submitted to the truth in my spirit. I will move among my people, wherever they are, as my son did, where two or more are gathered, where people are looking for me and not a scene. I make remarkable the unremarkable. I come for the broken, the outcast, and the misfit on the fringes, for my kingdom is not of this world. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Those who build thrones for their ideas and call it my church, but have forgotten who I sacrificed my son to reach, must repent and do the first works, or I will remove their lampstand. The platform for my vessels is not man's systems of academia, titles, experiences, or traditions. I am pouring out my spirit to stand on the platform of vessels who are on their faces before me with patient endurance where I am pouring upon their surrender my hope. The suffering of my only begotten son was my platform for the display of my love for you and for the world. Behold true love on the cross. Daughter, your suffering is meant to resurrect the life of Jesus in you. As you yield to my good plans for you and your family, it will be done. And then he gives me Psalm 31. And I know this is not just a message for me. Psalm 31 says, My heart is not proud, O Lord. My eyes are not haughty. Other translations say, My eyes are not lifted up too high, or um, I am not lofty. I do not aspire to great things or matters too lofty for me, it continues to say. Surely I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. Warn my people, Gadiah, to not be hooked away from their ministry to their families by secret desires to exalt themselves or by various other lusts. Those who I have called will shine as lighthouses in their communities with their families, and I will emanate the fragrance of my glory on the wind. People will follow it from near and far. Simply give them my son. Give them my word. Give them the good news. Feed their emaciated souls the food that I have given you and the water that satisfies Bind wounds and mend hearts with my oil of gladness and the splendor of my grace. For many think that the splendor of the king is lavish riches, but my kingdom is not of this world and my riches that are everlasting. Okay. Remove scarlet letters with the blood of my son and give them the crowns that have been left in 
the dust by those who have preferred to hold fast to the things of this world, who prefer to wear the pride of life. And as I'm writing this, I see Jesus as the man of sorrow. As I send darkness into the world as judgment for sin, my light will become more visible to those I am calling to come to me. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Look at the movements in the life of my son. Look at the movements in the life of my son. Be ready to obey my spirit. Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. Manufacturing or mixing in performance to my genuine motions. I discern the thoughts and intents of the heart. I will not leave one heart that is truly hungry for me unsatisfied. If you are thirsty for me, I will fill you to overflowing and I will use flawed people and places. There are none righteous but me. Speak the message of salvation from sins so that the seed that I am casting through my children's obedience will be watered with truth and not snatched by the fowlers of the air, doctrines of demons who come to bring people back into captivity. Beware sincere wolves using my name in the days ahead. One can be sincerely, dangerously wrong. The heart cannot accurately judge itself. Test all things against my word. The enemy is on the move to confuse and distract my people. Use my word as a light for your path and you will walk in the light. Be submissive. When you are tempted to fear, be submissive, Kadaya. When you are tempted to fear, you are privy to rebel against me. Be submissive, Kadaya. Do not attempt to take control. I will not let your foot get caught. Beware of this false angel of light. Man's tradition. It seeks to suffocate what it pretends to nurture. It's pride and none are immune. Ask me to give you eyes to see and I will, if your desire is to walk in my holiness and take no glory for your own and take no glory for yourself. Only a little leavening leavens the whole lump, Kadaya, but don't fear it any more. Nothing happens out of my sight, daughter. I don't need help. I want obedience. Do not fear them. Do not fear sin. Fear only me, and I will keep you from deception. I don't allow a sparrow to fall apart from my hand, and my people are worth more than many sparrows. Revival is what comes when the heart turns around to open the door to my patient knocking. When someone is humble and repentant, I will resurrect the life of Jesus Christ in them, the radiance of me, my glory. The darkness will fight and beg for your attention and the attention of all my people. I tell you, daughter, what I told Habakkuk about keeping his feet on the heights. Do you ever see a deer look down except to feed or drink? How much more do I love you? How much more do I love my people? Habakkuk 3 says, Lord, I have heard of your fame and I stand in awe of your deeds, Lord. Repeat them in our day, in our time, make them known in wrath Remember mercy. God came from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. 
His glory covered the heavens and his praise filled the earth. His splendor was like the sunrise. Excuse me, pardon me, in Jesus' name. His splendor was like the sunrise. Rays flashed from his hand where his power was hidden. Plague went before him. Pestilence followed his steps. He stood and shook the earth. He looked and made the nations tremble. The ancient mountains crumbled and the age-old hills collapsed, but he marches on forever. <clears throat> Excuse me, praise the Lord. This word will not be strangled out in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> I saw the tents of Cushan in distress, the dwellings of Midian in anguish. Were you angry with the rivers, Lord? Was your wrath against the streams? Did you rage against the sea when you rode your horses and your chariots to victory? You uncovered your bow. You called for many arrows. You split the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and writhed. Torrents of water swept by. The deep roared and lifted its waves on high. Sun and moon stood still in the heavens at the glint of your flying arrows, at the lightning of your flashing spear. In wrath, you strode through the earth, and in anger, you threshed the nations. You came out to deliver your people and to save your anointed one. You crushed the leader of the land of wickedness. You stripped him from head to foot. With his own spear, you pierced his head when his warriors stormed out to scatter us. Gloating as though about to devour the wretched who were in hiding. You trampled the sea with your horses, churning the great waters. I heard and my heart pounded. My lips quivered at the sound. Decay crept into my bones and my legs trembled. Yet... Yet, I will wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us. Though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior, the Sovereign Lord is my strength he makes my feet like the feet of a deer and enables me to tread on the heights for the director of music on my stringed instruments daughter many get swept up in false signs and wonders a false gospel, and other deception. Study my word. There is nothing new under the sun. Those who treat me as a genie from a heart that steps on or around love for the sake of gifts and manifestations of my power cast me aside like the busy travelers who stepped around the Good Samaritan. Never trip over love for the sake of glory for there is no greater glory than one who has laid down his life for his friends they believe they are destined for more important things and people but i come to the outcasts the misfits the sinful and broken Who is more grateful to have their debts forgiven? My people have forgotten that it's the sick who need a physician. I am not a reward for health, but a remedy for disease, for sin, for this corrupt generation. Kadaya. You know the eyes of scorn that beheld my son because of your afflictions, but that does not reflect my heart for you. 
My way is not of this world. My peace and my prosperity is foolishness to the world who cannot understand me. Hidden lusts in action will be met in these places with the power of the counterfeit, Satan and his demons. Tell my people to seek me and ask me to reveal impurities in your hearts. Repent and I will wash you clean. My peace and my prosperity is foolishness to those who don't know me. I have warned about all of these things in advance in my word. Prepare to be accused as my son was also accused. Rejoice in so far as you share in his persecution so that you will also partake in his glory when it is revealed. Store my word in your heart and you will have what you ask for. I ask you, would you give your child a snake if he asks you for bread? I am like no one you have ever known, my daughter. I am like no love you have ever known. For I am love, perfect love, uncorrupted by flesh, sin, or the world. The one who fears has not been made yet perfect in my love. Bring your doubts to me and ask for faith, and I will exceed all that I have promised you. Be patient. Humble yourself before every warning. Do not dismiss one as if it is for your brother or your sister. Invite me to search your heart for conviction. Don't run from my conviction. It's the door to my green meadows and quiet streams and banqueting table. Fools lean away from my correction, conviction, and warning. My correction adorns you with beauty as with gold. But my people are rejecting my gifts. I convict those I love, because there are none without sin, and none without vulnerability to deception. That's the nature of the root of sin, pride. It masquerades as a virtue. Come when I call you. Do not ignore the still small voice of my conviction or drown it out with distraction. Look to me and follow where I lead. I love my sheep and I am a good and faithful shepherd. You will see or hear about many things that you have never seen before in the days ahead. Do not try to go ahead of me. Let me lead. Submission covers you in my protection. But a rebellious spirit leads you into open fire. Do not lean on your own understanding or assessments. Both serving and abstaining from service at my command are service to me. Both are humility and an offering of trust that I cherish. Remember the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Kadaya, there comes the wind from the northeast, the wicked plan of men behind my breath of judgment for a deaf and blind nation who have ignored my merciful warnings to plug or soothe their itching ears instead. These are a stiff-necked people, my daughter. When the north wind blows, they will snap and break like dry, brittle bones and will blow away like chaff because they have not come to the stream to drink when I have called them to. Tell them again to return to their first love. Tell them to return to their first love and pray for my, and pray for my all-consuming fire to melt hearts of stone and it will be done. 
A heart revived by my son, Jesus Christ, will soon be tested with a very big storm. But my torches will only grow more brightly in the wind, and the torrent will spread my flames, which I have set with my hand beforehand. I am not reactive, like man. I am not reactive, like the enemy, the adversary. I am not a God who plays defense. I have gone first. I have gone first to light a torch in the valley of darkness that is about to descend. My word leads the way. My covenant is sure. I am that I am. You are the light of the world if you fear and love me. I am not impressed at the strength of warriors. But my protection is with those who fear me. Though others will try to extinguish my fire within you, they will not be successful if you resist the bait of controversy and quarreling. Stay coarse and leave them to me in prayer. My word will keep you, hide you, and reveal you at the designations of my loving and wise sovereignty. Remember again what I have said in my word about salt and fresh water coming from the same spring. It is not possible. If you obey me, I will make you my vessel. Remember, child, that although the enemy means suffering for evil, I mean it for good. I mean it to bring you into friendship with me. And it was at this point that I was overcome with just a sense of the Lord's tenderness. Those who come and abide in me now and seek my face diligently must be pliable in my hands. I will form you into a weapon in my hand, the good news of my son, my love, against the darkness. Those who have been trained by the fires of testing and have proven obedient will be flexible, tenacious, resilient, and effective in the days ahead and will do great exploits in my name. Do not trust your own assessments of what that will look like. I take stock of the produce from the harvest. You have nothing to fear. I will be your rampart and shield. The fear of me is your protection. My all-consuming fire devours sin, wickedness, and darkness. It inspires hearts of genuine repentance and tears of grief at beholding my son on the cross, as well as inspires joy for the promise of forgiveness and resurrection. The heaviness of my glory inspires fear and awe, stillness and silence. For the time has come when my true worshipers will worship me in spirit and in truth. And as I write this part, I was seeing, I had noted that I was seeing hushed gatherings in homes in low lighting and new wineskins on tables. I will pour my oil of gladness upon my people, even in the night. My spirit is intoxicating and astonishing, but gentle and lovely. My spirit reveals my son, for I am a lowly king with grandness of joy, and I made your hearts to delight in my affectionate touch, the way a child responds in astonishment at a parent's tickle or warms into safe big arms. And I see a very um, grand and festive gesture that makes me laugh like 
I don't know how to explain it, like a big Hebrew dad. <laughs> As my word says, my spirit is one of joy, but it is also one of self-control. Train your senses to distinguish between good and evil. I will do much saving and healing during these precious hours of my light in grave darkness. And no one will doubt the presence of my spirit in these places. See Hebrews 5 on um, training your senses to distinguish between good and evil. It's actually, um, yeah, that's what it's from. My fire also terrifies the darkness. Tell my people to take courage. The adversaries, demons, sometimes make a spectacle, as you know, as they are being evicted from a repentant soul who is thirsty for me. But they are but flies under the power of my hand. I am not a god of spectacles, but I will allow this in carefully measured doses. You may have your own ideas, but give them up now as I am in full control. Walk in the spirit and not in the flesh, and you will have authority where I send you because of the blood of my son that leads you there. Take cover in me. Take cover in my body. Gather with my body. Wives, submit to your husbands. Husbands, Love and lead your wives. If you persist in sacrificial obedience, I will bless you and pour out my spirit in your homes. Take the bread and water of my son, Jesus Christ, to those in your lives, and I will bring the extraordinary awe of my power and presence into the commonplace, as I did with my friends in the upper room. Revival is wherever the liberating beauty of humility and repentance is, wherever a revelation of my son is, wherever a revelation of my love is, where I am revealing myself. Obey my word. Share the gospel. Minister to your families. Exhort the brethren to move on from milk to meat and train their senses. Worship in your homes. Tell my people that their children are arrows for my use and blessings. And trust them to me as you lavish them with my word. For my word is myself, my son, my love, my spirit, and it will not return void. Go now and make disciples. Pray for the sick and cast out demons in my name. Wipe the dust from your feet when people do not receive you. Keep my word within you and you will be successful in everything you do. Avoid concern about what others are doing or saying. Set your face on me like a flint. If you do what you see me doing, my power is yours. I tell you in my word to buy oil and be like the wise virgins and not the foolish virgins who tried to get some last minute and there was none available. There is a cost to buying oil. All who seek to keep their lives will lose it, and all who seek to lose their lives for my sake will surely find it. I give to all who ask without finding fault. Ask me to search your heart and seek my word. I have a storehouse of mercy awaiting my children. But many have wandered after the luxuries of Babylon. And I write, I noted here, I see people stumbling after a pair of swaying, swaying hips, like, like with hard eyes, like in an old Disney cartoon. In my storehouse, I have nourishment, medicine, 
an armory, a bed to sleep in. I am your fortress. Here I will sort you out and heal you and train you. Come and recline with me. Strengthen your feeble hands. Warriors must feast. Warriors must rest. Allow me to invigorate your appetite because you need the sustenance that only I can provide for the times ahead. Lash to me like a helm before the storm and you will not find yourself fearful or frantic in the tumult that will overcome many. Labor to enter into my rest. Lash to me like a helm before the storm, and you will not find yourself fearful or frantic in the tumult that will overcome many. I tell you, labor to enter into my rest. Those who continue to hit the snooze button on my warnings will still be asleep when I send a strong delusion, and the alarm will sound no more. This is because they don't love the truth and take pleasure in unrighteousness. They have a form of godliness but deny my power. They offend my spirit. They don't know me, daughter. They lean on their own understanding. But there is no snooze button on my plans. Though... Wisdom and understanding grows out of a holy fear for me. Repent, and I will make known to you my thoughts. Many eyes are blind because they are holding bitterness and resentment towards another or towards a group of people. Forgive others 70 times 7 what was done to you, and you will be forgiven by me. Bless your enemies and pray for those who persecute and pray for those who persecute you look out for their well-being remember that the enemy to fight is each one's own sin the bride must make herself ready avoid those who stir up division and strife there is a time to call out falsehood and hate sin by snatching others from the fire certainly but avoid the lure of controversy for controversy's sake. It's a lust of the flesh. When accusers come, avoid the temptation to defend yourself. Respond in meekness and courage. For a gentle word, for a gentle word turns away wrath. Take everything to me and I will counsel you. I will fill your mouth with my words. Better to stay silent until, as fresh water and salt water cannot flow from the same source. Behold the cross. Allow me to defend you, for I am your defender. Elohim Shamri Pity them, daughter. Remember their captivity for but a moment. They do not have my peace. They will not receive it, though I try to give it to them. I have given you eyes to see, daughter, how cleverly the enemy will camouflage in the bush in the days ahead. Don't listen to controversy or tremble at accusation or fear snipers, but focus on me and wait for my instruction. My power will be with those who are not only my disciples, but my friends, as I call those who have suffered with me and because of me, yet have not been ashamed by my name. Keep speaking my name. Keep speaking the name of my son, Jesus Christ. It carries my fragrance. No crushing is ever wasted when it is offered to me. 
The cross draft is also my enlistment for war. There have been many battles, but now, daughter, it's time for war. Those who are not with me will be casualties. Do not fear riders from the north or the east. Trust that the wind is the holy and just breath of my judgment on a wanton people and take the light of my truth, Jesus Christ, to the lost into it. It will blow, but do not fear. It will kindle and catch the light as you carry it to those around you. As you obey me, I will not need to send people very far. Trust where I have already positioned you. Everything is in perfect order. Trust in my provision and faithfulness. Your times are in my hand. Do not chase action. Seek me. Go after lost souls who are still dead in their sins as you once were and need to be rescued. You carry the entire kingdom inside of you. I will be with you. Many of my children are either asleep or fearful of missing out, but I move and place all things and all people according to my hand and my wisdom and my love for each individual person. My word supplies all your needs. Wait on me. I will speak to you through my word, through our fellowship, into your ear. I will send my son to prophesy through your children or illuminate you with a revelation of my presence as you serve and love one another, just like when I sent angels to people as they occupied in lowly places in my word. Obedience does not equal busyness. Success does not mean notoriety, and success cannot be measured by what can be seen with the eye, but rather with my word. The stature of Jesus cannot be estimated by appearances. All of creation waits in patient expectation for the revealing of my children, and it will laugh in delight at my wisdom next to the estimations of people who think themselves to be wise. Oh, my bride, listen. Can you hear the rumble of spring? Brace yourself, my bride. Replenish your lamps with oil. The north and south winds awaken now to carry the fragrance of my name from the mortars and pestles that my people have experienced as very dark pits. See with kingdom eyes, my sister. Pull back the veil and tell my beloved bride to behold. Persecution will soon thresh the wheat from the tares. Call laborers into the harvest and focus on what I ask you to do. You are salt and light. Stay low, but do not hide under a basket. Go forth and proclaim my son to a corrupt generation who has defined wickedness as love. Oh, how lost they are, daughter. They know not what they do. Tell them of my sacrifice. Tell them that I have paved the way to their wholeness and healing and eternal life out of death out of my wrath and into my love and into my peace ah my daughter you have heard the trade winds blowing and though you did not know what you were singing about i will tell you as far as the east is from the west that's as far as i have removed my transgressions from you without spot or blemish. (sighs) Greater love has no one than this, a man who lays his life down for his friends. And I looked up what trade winds are. Trade winds are defined on Google as an east to west sweeping draft. Praise Jesus. 
Though the refining fire is hot, I will not allow it to burn you, but will brand you with my glory, with my resurrection. My son is intimate with your suffering, and you do not suffer alone or without compassion, but with ready help, hope, and honor. In suffering, you become intimate with Christ. Oh, my child, my son learned obedience by suffering. Since I have given him up for you all, will I also not give you with him freely all things? Tell my children to rejoice. I am drying your tears with the wind of my breath. You have asked me many a time, my daughter, why do I save tears? What for? What for? <laughs> and um, that's in reference to Psalm 56, 8. My little gardener, you are after my own heart, and so I will tell you. Hear me. A wise gardener saves seeds. I have collected tears that are given to me. These tears are precious prayers to me. Precious gifts of trust from my bride. Even the mustard seeds. I cherish them and have great plans for every single one of them. Wait till you see what they grow into. Every tear cried into my lap becomes a seed out of which I grow new life and redemption. I will cast them as seeds on soil that I call good at the right time. I will shine upon them with my face, and I will rain upon them according to what they need to flourish in the fullness of my life. Pray, daughter. Pray, daughter. And I found Psalm 126. It says, those who sow their tears as seeds will reap a harvest with joyful shouts of glee. They may weep as they go out carrying their seed to sow, but they will return with joyful laughter and shouting with gladness as they bring back armloads of blessing and a harvest overflowing. My daughter, you know by now that I am after hearts above traditions, works, and disciplines, and appearances, though there are reasons for obeying all of my instruction. Faith without works is dead, my daughter. Do you know what it means when the harvest is plenty and the laborers are few? Now, Go ahead in the power of my spirit and awaken hearts to the conviction that brings freedom and salvation. Take heart. I am faithful to meet your obedience with my power to save. Tell my people that my grace has carved every valley that they have walked through and every valley they will walk through ahead. Rejoice. You will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Remain in my love. Abba. And then um, he gave me Luke 12. He gave me Luke 12, 55 to 56. Um... And I will leave the link, try to remember to leave it below. I may leave it below um, in the description box or comments. Winter's bite can't threaten the wrath of spring that tears through the ice on a breaking swing. It peels and it peels through the heavy soil. Thorns that rip the winter's foil. Frost may taunt and wind will be. Roots and shoots salt burn their seed. Passion pushes stone hard earth. Till at last a blossom
Want a cig with me? 